up a chair and join me today Out in my workshop I'm tinkering away Wand above staring down on me Wonder what my next project will be Working on my Johnson, my Mercury Mark 10 Firing up my Starcraft to fish again Grab your friends and your dog is too To watch Tim's Workshop on my YouTube Hey, welcome to Tim's Workshop. Hey, uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, leave comments, hit the notification bell. If you like, hit the old hand thing, okay? Give me a like. Uh, let your friends and family know about my videos too. So we're going to get on with this dissecting the carburetor on this thing. The last video, yeah, I got it running and it wouldn't die, but that was on fast speed. <laughs> as soon as you turned it down, it uh, started dying, so we still got an issue with the carburetor. And not only that, but I took my thermometer and checked out the uh, temperature on the motor, and it was getting hot. I took the impeller off, the old impeller, okay, and I just received from the postman the new impeller. That's going to go on. I don't, I'm not sure about this video, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how much time I got. We're going to put the carburetor back on, put the impeller on, I guess, put fuel in the tank, and put it in the barrel. So that might all happen on this video. I think it will. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, so let's get going on that. Now, there's another thing that, uh, that might be going on with this thing. Is this, this cap. When you open this up, it should be vented. Yeah, when you close this up, that rubber gasket closes. And you, it closes off the vent. And then when you open it, there should be a hole. I can see the hole right there. So we want to make sure that that is open. I can get the wire in there. And then there's, it looks like another hole over here. Yep. Oh yeah, I can get the wire all the way through that hole. See that? So, wanted to make sure that that is open and not clogged, okay? Because if it was, and you had what you thought was open, if you thought this was open and it was clogged, your fuel flow will quit on you. And that would explain why the thing would run and all of a sudden die on you. So that's not the issue. This is this is open. I just wanted to make sure that wasn't part of the problem. And it's not. So we'll put this back in there. Close it up. Close up the vent. Okay. Now we're going to take the, uh, make sure the fuel flow is shut off. Okay, then we're going to take uh, a little bucket over there, open this up, make sure the fuel isn't uh, is shut off. <clears throat> and then we'll take everything apart and get this carb off of here. Once we get the carb off, we'll put the motor back on the stand and set it up and just work here on the table uh, dissecting this, this carb. Okay, we got everything set up here. Let's take this carburetor apart again. Just dump this fuel out of here first of all. We've got the fuel dumped out of it. Took the gasket off of here. Let's check out this float. It doesn't quite look level. It's kind of leaning down a little bit. So that 
that's not right. Somebody said check the float level. So we're going to do that. And right here, it shows you it's got to be perfectly level. This is the float. That's right. Okay. But it's, it's not level. So we're going to adjust that. Taking this up like this. And bending it up just a little bit. Perfect. Okay, that float level is right on. Right? I can see a, just a, a hair of daylight from one end to the other. So that's perfect. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take this pin out of here. We're going to check the float seat. Make sure that's all good. There's the washer. The washer's on there. Oh yeah. The wire goes through there. Okay, so that's good. Take this off. Venturi. Now that I got the gasket on there, see that gasket's on there. The only thing I found wrong is the float was not level. We're going to blow carb cleaner through all those again. That fuel doesn't look all that great. So we're going to drain that fuel out of the tank, clean it again. And we're going to put uh, 16 to 1. We're going to get more oil in the fuel this time. When I pulled those spark plugs out, they should have been semi-wet for a two-stroke and they were dry as a bone so I don't think that mixture was right it says on the tank it says 50 to 1 but I don't think that's right maybe 50 to 1 back in the old days with uh, using 40 weight uh, oil might have been fine but uh, with the um, the synthetic TCW3 oil they have nowadays I think it really needs to be thicker than that. We're going to go with 16 to 1. It was heating up, so we don't want that to happen. So we want to make sure that the engine's running cool. So the impeller, but also the fuel mix should be right. And I think with the fuel coming out the carburetor, that could have been the float being out of adjustment. So now we're going to take this apart, the uh, low speed. We're gonna make sure this packing is correct. Uh, according to the the directions on this for the uh, this one, there's two washers there, and they call them packing washers. So we have the one packing washer. So that's on there, right? And that's a new one. So let's see what we get out of here. Man, this is really gunked up. Let me uh, see if I can get some of this out of here so you can see what it looks like. Let me stick a little bit of this in there and you'll see what I'm talking about. Look at that. That is a mess. So I'll get this rinsed out. We'll put O-ring in there. I think it takes an O-ring. It might not. It might take just another one of these packing washers. It says two. 
three and four. Items three and four. Packing washer. There's another one of those packing washers in here. See, it's thicker. So I think it takes both of them. Got that all cleaned out. Put this back in with the packing washers. There we go. It's going in good. Okay. So what we'll do is make sure this is open. Okay, start screwing this in. Get it down so it's seated. Okay, that's seated. So it says one churn. So, okay, there's half and one churn. Okay, then tighten this in. The high speed is uh, two churns, but this carburetor doesn't have a high speed. It just has a plug, drain plug. But the low speed is one churn out. Okay, that's good for that. Now the seat. That's seated. Okay, then the pin. Okay, that's good. You can make sure that this hole is lined up with this hole here, okay. A little lube on this. Okay, now let's tighten this down. Get the cushion up here. Okay, there's one. Three. One more. And there we go. Eighteen inch pounds. So they're all tight. Carbs all back together. Now what we're going to do before we put it back on the motor is we're going to test this and we'll hook up the uh, little tester I have for pressure. Turn it upside down. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Oh yeah, there we go. So let's go up to 10. Okay. And just hold it there looks like it's holding so that's good and then when you turn it over there we go so there we go it's uh, doing what it's supposed to be doing the float is or the seat needle is shutting off like it's supposed to Now, something else I want to try, let's hook this back up, is when you put the choke on, we want to make sure that that's, uh, that's working properly. So there's 10, okay, now let's pull that choke open, I'm going to have to set this down here, so. I'm still holding, so that's good. I just wanted to make sure that that choke wasn't affecting it because when I put the choke on, it seemed like the uh, fuel was running out, but it could have been just running out 
either way. And that could have been, I think, possibly because that venturi wasn't down all the way. There was some crud or something keeping it from going all the way down. That could have been an issue even before I got the motor, <laughs> you know, <laughs> because uh, it seemed to not stay running when I first got it. Back on the uh, Evinrude Light Twin, it's been a few days since I've been on this. Been busy doing other things. I was uh, editing what I had so far and uh, I always kind of look and see how much time I have on it. I try to keep the videos to no longer than 30 minutes. This one I still have time left on it so I'm going to just carry on with it. I got the carburetor all back on. Compression check because this thing was getting hot so I, I checked that out. I put some uh, uh, Yama lube in the cylinders, rotated it, uh, did the compression check again. Bottom cylinder is 75 pounds. The upper cylinder though is about 60. We got about 15 pounds between. It's supposed to be no, no more than 10 pounds between cylinders. So there's something going on with the top cylinder. We'll see, we'll, we'll get it running. And if it runs decent enough, I'm not gonna worry about it right now. But if I do plan on reselling it, of course I, I wanna get in there and uh, do some more to it, you know, take the cover off, take these things off, check out the uh, the inside cylinders, see if there's scoring on that top cylinder. If not, uh, probably just need some new rings put on it. But we need to get the sealant in here, adhesive uh, Permatex. So that'll work good for this. We'll put some around the edge of this. Then we'll put it on. So this part of it goes that direction. So we'll put this down over the top, just like that. Beautiful. Line up the holes, little pin. So let's get our grease, 2,4-C. Okay. All right. Put a little dab. Okay. 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 A little grease on the now let's put the pin in. Okay. A little bit of grease on the pin. Put a little grease in here. Impeller. Bring this all the way down. Put that onto the pin. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to spray a little bit of this uh, soap on there. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. It was right in front of my eyeballs up there. Okay, now wipe this down. Yeah. Okay, we gotta be able to turn the prop. So the prop's gotta be up here. So a little turn. At the same time as I'm pushing down on this.
Okay. Yeah, let's pump this up. Hopefully there's enough in here. Till it comes out this hole. Whoa. Yeah, it's coming out all right. <laughs> yeah. All right. I was almost ready to stop thinking, crap, it, uh, I ran out, but I didn't. Now what you want to do is you want to have this in your hand ready to go so when you take when you take this off, you want to have this thing ready to go. Put it in there before the fluid runs out. And this fluid is it's pretty cold in here, so I don't think we'll have a problem with that. That's what's nice about this big screwdriver is you got this thing on here. Just like that. Got some cleaning to do on this thing. Oh, jeez. Clean out these splines. That old grease that's in there. The rest of it, eh, it's fine. Now, what we want to do is put a little of this 2,4-C on these splines, on this spline here, okay? That's going up into the power head. Don't put any on the top, of course. I've said that in my other videos and then we get the uh, o-ring put a little grease on it and put that over the top get that down into the groove there's a groove right there okay just like that and it's ready to put in the uh, in the motor. All right, all we're gonna do is test the water coming out of the hole here. I got my uh, drill motor. Put this over the top here. All right. There it goes. Woo. It's coming out of there big time. <laughs> well, the water pump works good. Let's see if this will start up. I got the van open. Got that closed, van open. Got this over on start. Got the choke open. Got the fuel on. Well, let's see what happens. Okay, as soon as I turned the choke on, it uh, started to die. So we're going to leave the choke on. Choke off. Hmm. Still won't stay started.
So as you saw in the last video, at the end we put it in the barrel to test it again, see if I could get this thing running and keep it running. It just did the same thing. It would uh, sputter a little bit, you know, with the choke on, put the choke in, it would start and then stop, you know. Uh, it wouldn't keep running. And then fuel was coming out of the carburetor again. So I tested the carburetor with air and it held, you know, there was no leak, but I haven't hooked up the fuel uh, to the carburetor off the motor just on my workbench here and use a pump ball and pump it up to see if it does the same thing, if it's leaking fuel out the carburetor. I joined the group uh, Johnson Evanrude uh, Facebook uh, group page. I joined that uh, quite a while back and uh, uh, they've been very helpful. You know, there's a lot of people on there and they give you suggestions on what to look for. Not all of it's, you know, good. Some of it might be, you know, so it just kind of opens up your mind to thinking a little more than what you're thinking, you know. Go into it and start testing things and looking at things and see if you can figure out why you're having a certain uh, issue on your motor uh, that you can't figure out quickly. So what we're going to do, still, I still believe it's a carburetor issue. Uh, I did... Uh, I did get the uh, impeller changed and it shoots water out as you saw in the last video so that that's working good and I lowered the water level in the barrel outside so I could see the vent holes these vent holes so I ran it even though I couldn't get it started I just kept the drill motor running and uh, I got water that went up into the head and out through these holes. That's what I'm thinking that's how this works because there's a tube inside that goes into the uh, impeller housing, the water goes up in through the tube, the tube goes up into the power head, right? There's a slot for the uh, tube to fit and then it should come back out through these holes according to what I was told. To really know for sure is you got to get it running long enough to see if it's overheating or not. Carburetors should be fixable. <laughs> you just don't go get another car because the carb's not working. I mean, unless it's really totally shot. So, so we'll figure it out.